YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so hyped to bring you guys another video today. We're going to be doing another reaction video. For those of you who know, this is really how my channel grew, was doing these reaction videos. I know you guys love them so much, and I love making these videos. This video today is going to be about uh, the book of Revelation and kind of what the Bible describes the throne of God to look like, what God looks like. And yeah, somebody put together a whole visual about that. And today we're just going to react to it, make comments on it, and go from there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Levi DeVega. I'm a TikTok influencer, Christian content creator, and I'm just a kid who loves Jesus and does YouTube videos. Welcome to the best side of TikTok, the Christian side of TikTok. It doesn't get any better than this, man. So I'm excited to bring this video to you guys today. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel, man. About 80% of the people who watch most of my videos are not subscribed yet, bro. Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss these videos coming up next. I got a bunch of things planned. My wife is moving down. We're going to do a bunch of videos together. We're excited. And the content is only going to go up from here. Feel free to send me a, a video you want me to react to on my Instagram. Hit me up on my Instagram, and I'd love to react to the video you guys send me. And you also get a free shout out for doing so. So this video is going to be kind of short, so without me talking too much like I usually do, we're just going to get right to this video, man. Love you guys. Make sure you stay to watch this video the whole way through. Get comfortable, get some snacks, and let's get right to this video, guys. Hey, like the video, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For the lost, for the lonely, and for those seeking and those found. Love it. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Crazy. I looked and saw a door opened in heaven. And the first voice that I heard, like a trumpet speaking with me, was one saying, Come up here, and I will show you the things which must happen after this. And immediately I was in the Spirit. Mm. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was in appearance like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow around the throne, in sight like an emerald. Damn, look at that. Around the, the throne were twenty-four thrones. On the thrones were twenty-four elders sitting, dressed in white garments, with crowns of gold on their heads. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices! And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Oh and before God. the throne, there was a sea of glass, like crystal. In the middle of the throne, and around the throne, were four living creatures, full of eyes before and behind. And the first creature was like a lion, and the second creature like a calf, and the third creature had a face as of a man. And the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within. And they have no rest day and night, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. When the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and throw their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy 
are you, our Lord and God, the Holy One, to receive the glory, the honor, and the power. For you created all things, and because of your desire, they existed and were created. What's going on right now? And I saw upon the right hand of him who was sitting upon the throne, a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a great voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose the seals of it? And no one was able in the heaven, nor upon the earth, nor under the earth, to open the scroll, nor to behold it. And I was weeping much, because no one was found worthy to open and to read the scroll, nor to behold it. One of the elders said to me, Don't weep. Behold, the lion who is of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome, to open the scroll and to loose the seven seals of it. Jesus. I saw in the middle of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the middle of the elders a lamb standing as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who was sitting upon the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each one having a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sing a new song, saying, Worthy art thou to take the scroll, and to open the seals of it, for you were killed, and bought us for God with your blood, out of every tribe, language, people, and nation and made us kings and priests to our God, and we will reign on the earth. And I saw and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the living creatures and the elders. And the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. I heard every created thing which is in heaven, on the earth, under the earth, on the sea, and everything in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be the blessing and the honor and the glory and the might every tongue shall confess and the four living creatures said amen and the elders fell down and worshiped Um, I find that, um, these videos are kind of hard to follow up sometimes just because it's like, to me, like so shocking. Like there's so many visuals and just so many things going through your mind or my mind, at least, you know, thinking about what it's really going to be like just to be there, standing there to see my God, the one I've served on earth my whole life, you know, and then you finally get to be there to see him. And it's just like. It's just mind blowing. These visuals, you know, are mind blowing. It's just, and I think it's even crazy that God decided to give us a little sneak peek, you know, like he gave us a little sneak peek of what we can expect or, you know, try to wrap our minds around what it will look like. And I think that's just awesome. But yeah, wow, I'm blown away. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know your reaction in the comments, how you react to these visuals, what you think.
because I want to know how you guys are reacting because I'm finding this kind of hard to react to. So I guess we're going to keep this video nice and short today. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.